Saruman believes that it is only a great power that can hold evil in check. But that is not what I have found. I found it is the small things, everyday deeds of ordinary folk that keeps the darkness at bay. Simple acts of kindness and love. My dear people, you asked me once if I had told you everything there is to know about my adventures, and while I can honestly say I have told you all the truth, I may not have told you all of it. I've done quite some growing up. I'm not the same person I once was. I think it's time I told you all what really happened. I have lived a very humble life. My parents are the main people to thank for that, for they have done everything and more possible to make my life the greatest it could possibly ever be. I was born three months premature, weighing in about a little over one pound. The doctors didn't think there was a chance in hell I was going to make it out of that hospital. And here you people think I'm small now. The doctors were mainly worried about my lungs, for they were incredibly underdeveloped at the time of birth. Everyone and their brother came to that hospital to see me and support my parents. That went on for six months. I don't know how, but somehow over the course of that six months, luck seemed to sway my way for the first time. Let us not waste time speaking of my childhood. I was a child, and well, I did what all other children did. Enjoy not having many responsibilities and running around like a little damn heathen. Life consists of two things. There is the dark, and there is the light. Sometimes the dark seems to swallow that light. There seems to be none of it in sight. Once you become prone to the dark things along the way, you begin to know how to get yourself around it. Eventually, you bump into something. And that something ends up being that light you've come to miss and appreciate so much. When you're so used to having the good things in life, you lose appreciation for it. It is only through our darkest hour that we, as men and women, learn to venture on. It makes us fight harder for what we believe in and do whatever it takes to regain that precious light. Some people never make it out of the darkness. I have seen things I wouldn't wish upon my worst enemy to see and go through. I can honestly say I did everything I could to do to bring that person out of their own destruction. I did not fail, nor give up by any means. There comes a time when you have to let go of the idea that you can save them and save yourself. I have learned it is impossible to save someone because they have to save themselves. The sad truth is, some people don't want to save themselves. Once you know that, there is really nothing more you can do. It breaks one's heart to see the person they loved with every ounce of care in their body totally self-destruct into oblivion. I realized I never really missed her, though I missed the girl I always hoped she'd become one day. The girl I fought so hard for but never really existed. Only an idea, never truly a reality. It's impossible to turn a piece of shit into gold, but I sure as hell tried my damnedest. You don't get anywhere in life galloping around smoking pot with dumb teenagers. You get somewhere in life by having a vision and responsibilities to make that vision become a reality. Do what you feel is right. The way of the force shall guide us all on our path to success. Surround yourself with great people and be a great person yourself. Thinking about the future scares the shit out of all of us. I have spent the last four years saying how much I hate high school and how it holds me back from the real world. And yes, this is partially true, though I would be the biggest liar in the world if I said I haven't met some of the greatest people on the face of the planet. I've had some of the best teachers in existence. Between you and me, I wouldn't trade the times I've had here for the world. I think I'll slip quietly away when you tell the others I said goodbye. You can tell them yourself. So. 
if any of you are ever passing Bag End, uh, tea is at four. There's plenty of it. You are welcome any time. I bid you all a very fine.